Hey, what's up, travelers? In this video, we're in Hanoi, Vietnam, and we just changed our hotel to a different part of the city, and I found a little street food place that sells snail noodles, and I thought that sounds pretty awesome. Let's go check it out. Uh, so they told me to come back in the morning and they will have what I'm looking for so that's what we're gonna do but I think uh, we're gonna head on over and uh, get some chaka at a place that Anthony Bourdain introduced it to the entire world So this right here is the original location that I ate at the first time that I came to Hanoi back in 2015. And they have since then gotten quite a bit fancier and they're right over here. sitting here at Cha Ka Thang Long and this is actually my second time trying to record a video here. The first time I recorded the video, the audio just went to hell. I don't know what happened, but we are here and this place is pretty awesome. This place hit my radar back in 2015 when I was doing research for the first time that I ever came to Vietnam. And I found out that Anthony Bourdain had come to this place because they had only one thing on their entire menu, which still reigns supreme today. And that is a dish called Cha Ka. Cha Ka is turmeric fish grilled over, over a fire with a bunch of different greens and veggies. And then it's served with cold noodles and more veggies, some chilies and, and some fish sauce and it is absolutely phenomenal. First thing they, they delivered to our table, fish spring rolls. Go ahead and get on in with that. It also comes with a, a, a nook mom sauce, it looks like it's got some carrots and uh, some sort of a radish or something in it. I don't recall if these were actually available the first time I came here back in 2015, but uh, I don't think they were. You know, they only had one thing on their menu. It's 2023 now, and now they've got two things on their menu, but you have to get both. You can't get just one item. <laughs> mm. That is just so crunchy and crispy and meaty. Oh, so good. I... 
It was one of the best spring rolls I've ever had. Um, unbelievable. Ah, cool. <laughs> So the total for this meal, including the drinks, is about 230,000 dong, just about $10. It's a fantastic deal, to be honest. It's probably my favorite meal here in Hanoi. Alright, so I just dished up my first bowl of this here. I'm pretty excited. Uh, just look at that. It's got one nice real big piece of fish in there. Got some veggies, got some peanuts, got some vermicelli noodles, some of that spicy fish sauce. Getting ready to get down on some of this. I already did. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. The guy didn't didn't notice that I put the peanuts in with the dish of fish there, and he wanted to make sure I got the full deal. <laughs> this is so good. It's got and the turmeric coats that fish just just really really bright, and it comes out. And, and then the little veggies. So you got uh, like some spring onions and. And some other types of herbs and stuff like that, and and they just all work together to create a perfect harmony in this little bowl. I'm not sure exactly what kind of fish they use. It's some sort of a freshwater whitefish. Likely either a snakehead or a catfish or something like that. But it is absolutely delicious. And if you're planning a trip to come to Hanoi, Vietnam, put Cha Ka Hang Long on your to-do list because this is a place that you have to come check out. Anthony Bourdain was not wrong about this place. Food's so amazing. Mm. All right, so we are walking up on Tem Trang Tien. It is on Trang Tien Street. So this street is actually named after this place. Uh, that's how famous this place is. This little sweet shop opened up in 1958. They sell ice cream bars. They have four different flavors. They've got a rice milk a chocolate, a taro, and a green bean. They're only about 60 cents. So that's only 12,000 Vietnamese dong, so you can just get it right there at the little street stand, or you can go in here. So we're using the microphone for the phone right now. I'm irritated about that. I don't know what's going on. But I ended up getting the rice flavored ice cream mask. That tastes like some pretty amazing vanilla ice cream. That's, that's what it 
know what it tastes like. Um, yeah, so when you're in Hanoi, come check this place out. I am at Via 29, and this is one of the places that uh, Anthony Bourdain came to um, to have snail noodles or buno, as it's known as here. A snail and tomato kind of soup with noodles, and you know, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. I really don't know much about it, honestly. I just happened to walked past it after I changed my hotel and saw that this place was here and that he had been here. Figured I had to stop in. Well, look at that. Doesn't that look just absolutely amazing? Try this broth first things first. Well, oh man, my body has been needing that. Oh wow, that is a nice, sweet, savory oily broth it is just oniony and oh man I don't know, you can see all these chives and everything in here it just looks so good all right so let's let's just jump right in and try one of these snails here it is way too early in the morning <laughs> I uh I forgot my my tripod back at the hotel, so I'm using a napkin holder <laughs> to hold my phone. But uh, yeah, this is this is absolutely delicious. Mm. Mm. That's really, really good. Feels good on my sore throat and everything. Mm. And so this soup, it's it's got noodles, it's got chives, it's got tomato, it's got some snails and some chicken, and it's a very, very interesting interesting combination of flavors very very tasty though and this broth though mm. that broth is the reason why tony bourdain came here for sure so i'm gonna dress it up a little bit gonna add some onion and some some green stuff here I think that's onion. It might be something else. <laughs> Don't know for sure. Yeah, so I'm using a different microphone now. Um, 
the one I was using, it, it broke last night. So that's apparently what the problem I was having was. Um, I got these breadsticks here. I imagine these are... really stale but I imagine really good to soak up the juice here mm. yeah that's pretty good it's probably gonna be the only one of these I eat but I bet if you find these fresh, they're going to be absolutely fantastic. A lot of oil to them, which makes them extra special bread. <laughs> now we're using the, the salad bowl as <laughs> this, this the microphone stand. Not even sure what this vegetable is. It looked kind of like an onion, but I don't think it is. Some sort of a green of some sort. <laughs> Another snail here. Maybe get a nice little glimpse of that snail meat there. There is something that this is missing a little bit of. I don't think it's going to take much. A little bit of chili there. This should be fun on my throat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, that classed it up a little bit. That's for sure. Yeah, this is good. I'm so glad I stumbled across this place. So yeah, I came here last night before I went to the Chaka Tang Lawn. They said, yeah, we don't serve that except for in the morning. So I was like, well, that sucks. <laughs> so I'm here in the morning. And this is like right in the middle of in the heart of Party Hanoi. <laughs> oh yeah, that chili just really, really set the tone here now. One thing's for sure, if this is a place you're going to want to seek out for breakfast. When you come to Hanoi, seek this place out for breakfast and get the buno. It is amazing. Great on a sore throat. Yeah. That's just a great bowl of noodles. I mean, there's a lot of different styles of pho out here in Vietnam. This might be the best one that I've seen so far. That is delicious. Alright, well, if you've enjoyed this video, throw a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you're into it. And as always, eat great food.